Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up and use the Arduino Nano board. The Arduino Nano is a compact and versatile microcontroller board based on the ATmega328P microcontroller. Despite its small size, it offers a wide range of features and capabilities, making it popular among hobbyists, students, and professionals alike. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of installing the Arduino IDE, selecting the right board, connecting your device, selecting the correct port, and uploading your first blank code. So, let's get started. The first step is to install the Integrated Development Environment, IDE. Visit the official Arduino website and download the latest version of the Arduino IDE. Once downloaded, follow the installation instructions specific to your operating system. Now that the IDE is installed, it's time to select the right board. Launch the Arduino IDE and navigate to the Tools menu. From there, select Boards and then Arduino AVR Boards. Scroll down the list and locate Arduino Nano. Next, choose the appropriate processor. In most cases, it will be ATmega328P. However, if you encounter difficulties uploading the code, try selecting ATmega328P, old bootloader. With the board selected, connect your Arduino Nano board to your computer using the provided mini BUSB cable. Connect one end of the cable to the USB port on the board and the other end to an available USB port on your computer. The board's LED lights should come to life once connected. Now it's time to select the correct port in the Arduino IDE. Go back to the Tools menu, navigate to Port, and choose the port that corresponds to your Arduino Nano board. If you're unsure, you can unplug and replug the board to identify the disappearing and reappearing port in the list. If your Nano board doesn't appear in the port list, you may need to install CH340 drivers. Simply search for download CH340 drivers on your preferred browser and install them on your PC. Now comes the exciting moment, uploading your first blank code. The blank code is a beginner's project that makes an LED on the board flash on and off. In the Arduino IDE, go to File, then Examples, followed by Basics, and select Blank. The blank code will appear in a new window. Take a moment to review the code and modify the blink rate if desired. When you're ready, click on the Upload button, the right arrow icon, in the top left corner of the IDE. The code will be compiled and uploaded to your Arduino Nano board. You should also see a confirmation message on the bottom of IDE screen. If you encounter an error at the bottom of the IDE screen, try the following troubleshooting steps. Ensure that the correct processor is selected in the Arduino IDE. Go to the Tools menu, navigate to Processor, and verify that it matches the one specified for your board. Double check that the right board is selected in the Arduino IDE. Navigate to the Tools menu, select Boards, and confirm that Arduino Nano is chosen. Make sure the correct port is selected in the Arduino IDE. Go to the Tools menu, navigate to Port, and choose the port that corresponds to your Arduino Nano board. If you're unsure, you can unplug and replug the board to identify the disappearing and reappearing port in the list. If you're still encountering issues, disconnect the Arduino Nano board from your computer and then reconnect it. Sometimes, a simple reconnection can resolve connection-related problems. Try again. After performing the above steps, attempt to upload your code once more by clicking on the Upload button, the right arrow icon, in the top left corner of the IDE. The code will be compiled and uploaded to your Arduino Nano board. Congratulations! You have successfully uploaded your first blank code. The LED on the board should now be blinking on and off according to the specified rate in the code. This achievement marks the beginning of endless possibilities with your Arduino Nano. Keep experimenting and try out many more exciting projects. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on electronics and electrical components. Happy coding!